Welcome back guys to Factorio Town Season 2 and this is me, Massive Dynamic, once again and we are here looking at McCann in its final... Oh, I forgot to put the name badge on there but I left the concrete train there so I'll head back over there and build the name. Uh, let me just remind myself that I need to do that by making a big concrete um, banner mark here real quick before I forget again so here this goes like that and that's the town of McCann so we'll get that filled in here shortly but uh yeah I wanted to show you that the town is complete other than obviously then the banner we've got our tattoo we've got our train export our train just left so it should have been full when it left and what we did was we just used the same uh, train that was delivering blue circuits and we added this extra pickup so that after it delivers to Zoof House it comes here and refills and then heads on for the rest of its path so that should uh, increase the number of circuits here at Zoof House of course uh, yeah it looks like we're, we still have some here and if we need to add another train that only delivers from McCann to Zoof House we can always do that too uh, but we didn't do it this time because I thought maybe it would work uh, the idea that I had there. So we'll give that a run and see how it goes. Uh, other than that, that's all the work that we've done in between episodes. Except, oh yeah, I did fix the um, the issue at Haneke with the um, acid, where the acid was low. So I just moduled everything, uh, added some pump jacks and got everything added another acid chemical plant there also uh, so that is all working great and we have plenty of acid now as you can see it's not even making any more acid uh, because there's so much there and also uh, there was something else uh, that I did that was in the way of kind of infrastructure stuff but I can't remember what it was um, but something that uh, just basically helped with uh, getting things flowing. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is work on... Right now we've got a lot of trains come over here to refuel at Killer Exible. And it's causing quite a traffic jam here. So we might need to th think about how to uh, rearrange the traffic around the gas station here at Killer Exible. That is the fueling station for the trains where just about every single train in the system ends up going there for fuel now, I think. So maybe we need to redo this intersection. That's probably going to be the answer. This intersection and this maybe these three intersections need to be reworked. Maybe that, that will probably be the plan for the next episode is uh, relieving that pressure in that area. That would help everything flow just a little bit better since all the trains end up uh they're refueling at this point pretty much all the trains end up refueling there at this point so we'll probably make that the central focus of the next episode although we are here back at forza right now resupplying on the um what we need here more than anything is uh, beacons yeah so I need to grab some beacons I probably need to do some inventory shuffling and why oh uh, oh yeah I was standing just outside I need to put another robo port probably like right over right over there right there I guess maybe right put one right there be a good spot for it um because when we stand on our designated location which is that spider there um we don't get refilled with our stuff so that's kind of a mistake so yeah we're picking up some uh prod modules and things and i need to yeah i don't need those anymore that was actually for bub loops project so although we don't want zero we'll leave it like 20 um also we don't need 40 of those but that's okay so we can just kind of unload some things out of our inventory that we don't need to carry around with us um those 
Okay, it's wanting 40. I don't want 40. Okay, oh, there we go. That's why. So we can do that. And um, the pipes we had for the other project. So we should be good on that. And also... Okay, that should take care of that. I should probably keep a train in my inventory at all times or two. Uh, which I usually pick up from uh, Bub Loop's uh, Sidon Night Station, which is where we make the trains. Um, I usually pick them up from there, but sometimes I just build them from my inventory because I have so much crap in my inventory at all times that I can build usually whatever I need. Uh, I got a lot of crap in this inventory also that needs to be relieved. Uh, there, that looks better. Is that, yeah, we don't need that or those. Yeah, there's a lot of excess stuff in that inventory that doesn't need to be there. So there, that will help a lot. That's that's my personal robo or um Spider-Tron. So okay, that being the case, let's head back up to um let's head back up here to um, McCann, and we can add the name badge and finish up the construction there and um, get that all settled in this episode while we're here. So let's go ahead. We can actually, if we do this, we can go ahead and get the name badge going. So if we do an M, okay. No, we can't do that. We can do it like this. We'll do an M. You know what? We're going to give this M a little bit of... A little bit of pizzazz for McCann. Be able to come straight. Oh, that was too much. Make it a big old M like that. Where's the middle of it? That one, that one, that one. There we go. Make it a big old M and thank you auto save that was perfect timing C and then a giant C oh here, here comes the concrete so there we can do it live because we've got the concrete supplied in our all right, now we need to grab the concrete from this train. So let's grab a little bit from here. And some of this, I think, is what we're using for the other. Okay, that's it. Our inventory is full, of course. All right, so let's get this all going. It's hard to do this in a spider because it flops around so much. So we'll do it like this. there all right so um now the big c will do like this maybe um maybe we go across there three yeah, one, two, three, and then down one. And then a nice A. Can we do it like this? I think we can. Yeah, that's not bad. And copy that one. Over to there, there. All right, there we have it. And then we can actually delete most of that. And who's going to pick that up? Of course, the one that doesn't have any room for that stuff. You're not supposed to even have concrete. You're not supposed to have that either, though. 
Okay, let's make a little room for concrete then. I don't have any. Give you some concrete. You. You can have the concrete. There you go. There. Okay. Okay, that. Alright, there's the sign. For McCann. And then the last thing we need to do is just run over here. And... Fill in what we can on the modules and things. Get that running up to speed. Okay, now. Now McCann is complete. The green circuits are coming in. Everything's good. We can send this train back to Bachi. Uh, yep, okay. There. Okay, that's all done. So now McCann is fully functional. And that means that all the blue circuits around the towns should be flowing much better. Of course, we're out over here again. Maybe it is time to add a, tra a dedicated train for Zoof House. That might be a really good idea. Since I have that train, the only thing I don't have is a fuel for it, but I can fuel it. I, I mean, I do have the fuel in my pocket. But you know what? I'm going to give it some of this rocket fuel. Okay, so you're gonna go from you're gonna go from McCann uh, exports, and we're gonna do inactivity, and you're gonna go to Zoof House imports, and we're gonna do inactivity, and then we're gonna add a refueling station for you also. And we'll add inactivity there. And we'll send you on your way. Uh, and then we'll just add a signal there because that other train will want to come and play. So there, that takes care of that. Now, let's do this while we're talking about it. Is, uh, where's that refueling station intersection? Yeah, so these intersections here Let's see if we can't relieve some of the pressure from this area on the refueling station. Uh, we've got four stations, or uh, yeah, four refueling stations. And then we've got this big stacker, so it really shouldn't be any kind of an issue for the... Oh, I forgot to put in that one. I'm going to send you back over here to... Do you have, I don't know if you have a radar on you. Never mind. We'll take care of it later. Yeah, see here is, okay, that's outbound traffic. Where are you guys going? That way. It's the inbound traffic that I'm more concerned about, which is here. So maybe what we'll do is we'll add like a bypass. We'll go this way, like here. Like this. We'll add a bypass here around this intersection. That should relieve that traffic. I would hope. So we do that and that. Maybe we'll add a couple of intermediary stops along the way and then we'll do this okay that or that now let's see where the traffic is bottling up you're going straight through um the outbound there which way are you i think they all head yeah, let me see. That's yeah, that's kind of a dead end over there. So they all head out this way. Um, then it's just a matter of do they go north or south from there. And I guess it would be a mix of both directions. So what can we do here to relieve this pressure? Uh, maybe we could add a bypass that would go like from here how could we do this 
Yeah, yeah, let's do a bypass that goes like from here, maybe. Right here. Down this way. Well, we'll go this way and then this way. Like that. This, I don't like this, but there. I want to end up like right here. That's where I want to end up. Like that. There. Okay, that should help congestion there because we can add that guy right there. See, look at that. There's a train already liking it. That one and that one. And then we can add maybe one here. And maybe one there, and then we can add a couple of signals here. Okay, that should maybe relieve the traffic that goes that way. And then only the traffic that needs to go to the east will have to go this way, or the north, which, where are you going? You're going south. Where are you headed exactly? You're headed to... Bubble loop. Okay, you're headed to Bubble Loop. Well, uh, so you're actually having to make a turn around. So I guess it's quicker for you to go that way, get to Bubble Loop Whistle Stop, than it is here. So maybe we need, maybe we need a roundabout. I hate to put in a roundabout anywhere but it might be a good idea to have a couple yeah because see that train had to go all the way around just to end up right back here again so let's put around about here kind of go like this we'll make it big enough so that nobody gets stuck in it like that and Let's see, can we get back in there? Oh, I hate the way that works. I want to go like that is what I want to do, right through that power pole, which we'll have to move and replace. Uh, there. There, that's the turn I want to make. Okay, so then that ruins that signal we'll put one there and one there and one there okay and then we'll just add one here and here and here there okay so that maybe will relieve the that one or two trains that have to make a U-turn to get to Bubble Loop after they refuel. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? We relieve compression here. All right, where you are headed to the fuel station? You're headed to the fuel station, probably. Nope, you're going straight through. Okay, so the straight through traffic, we could probably do a detour that went this kind of the same as before, where we go like right here, and then come up this way. And merge right back in I want to merge in like right here. That. Yeah, that I think will help relieve some pressure from that section. Yeah, there we go. It's already working. And a couple of signals here should help. There, okay. Now, let's see how the traffic flows now. 
All right, as of this moment, when there's not a lot of traffic right here in this spot anyway, but as of this moment, it looks very much relieved. Um, the only thing, one other thing we could do, I think, would be to add access to the fueling station from this end right here. Uh, right here, I think if we did this, So that trains coming from the north don't have to loop around so hard. So yeah, we can tie in like right, maybe right here. Get rid of that signal. And bring this in. Where do we want to do this? Probably right there is good. So we can do that. There. Okay, and then this signal here. There. Okay, now that really should reduce the pressure. Because now the trains that come from the south don't have to come through this intersection to merge with the trains that are come from the north. Puts them right into the stacker for refueling. Okay, so. I think we're going to call it an episode right there, guys. That was pretty good. I think we did a lot of good work there. So we'll leave it for now. There, there's an overview of the towns. I know you guys like to see how everything's coming along. This is Laura's secret work over here that you guys haven't seen yet. Um, so I'm not even sure what exactly she's doing down there yet. So we have to wait for her to finish that. Uh, Bubloop's town. Has, we haven't made any progress because uh, Bubloop gets up a little later in the day than I do, so I do my, most of my recording before Bubloop comes in. So uh, that'll do it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.